Hi there, so today I'm going to show you uh, how to use NetBeans as well as Maven to develop Android applications. NetBeans is an integrated development environment, rather like Eclipse, and uh, the reason why you might want to use NetBeans is because you prefer it to Eclipse. Personally, I find it more intuitive, and uh, overall, it's just my personal preference, so uh, I suggest you try them both, and if you uh, prefer to use NetBeans, then I can certainly show you how to do it. The other thing is uh, Maven, and uh, Maven is a build management tool. It is uh, what we're going to use instead of Ant, and Ant is the default build tool that uh, Android uses. And the reason why you might want to use Maven is because of its dependency management. So if you want to use third-party libraries and uh, frameworks, it makes it much easier to work with these. So the first thing you need to do is add the NB Android plugin. To do this, you just need to go Tools, Plugins, go to Settings, and you need to add a new Update Center. So click Add, type in NB Android, and you just paste in this URL. You can find this URL on the NB Android website. So if you Google NB Android, you'll find that URL pretty easily. Otherwise, that's it there. You can pause the video and uh, copy that down if you like. So once it's finished checking for updates, you can go Available Plugins, click Android, click that, click Install, Next, Accept, Install. It will download the plugin. This will only take a few seconds. It's not a huge plugin. And there we go. So now we have the NB Android plugin installed for NetBeans. Uh, the next thing we're going to need to do is show it where the Android SDK is. So I'm assuming that you have already downloaded the Android SDK from the Android website and installed it. So you need to know where the URL of that is. And to do that and specify the URL, I'm in the path, simply go uh, Tools, Options, miscellaneous and you see Android and there's the SDK location there so mine's already filled out but you can just click browse and click OK. So the next thing that we're going to do is create a new Android project. To do this we go file new project and as you see Android is selected there click Android project we'll call it hello Android and uh, the package name will go com Hello Android. It's just a naming convention that you uh, name it as your domain name in reverse and then the name of the application. And uh, we'll select Google APIs Platform 2.1. So this will give you access to all the Google APIs uh, such as Maps, etc. So then we're going to go finish and we will have our standard Android Hello World project here. Now you'll notice that main activity says it has an error and that's because it can't find r.layout.main. You have to build the application first. And once the application has been built, you'll see that it'll have generated an r.java file uh, which contains the location to that layout. So now's where the fun begins. Uh, we're going to convert this project from an Ant project to a Maven one. So we're going to click up here and go Files, and this will show all the raw files. The files that we're not going to need is Ant.properties, Build.properties. Uh, these ones, uh, we don't really need any of these. So we'll just delete those. And we'll create a new file, which is an XML file. We're going to call this pom.xml. Now, if uh, you're at all familiar with Maven, you'll understand a little bit about how the uh, pom file works. But uh, if you haven't had any experience with Maven, I've just pasted in a pom file that I've written earlier. And I'll go through and explain it all a little bit. So at the top, we obviously have our root tags up there. You can uh, find an example of a POM file on the Maven Android website. 
And uh, so you can just copy most of that from there. Uh, the important thing is uh, the group ID, just name this something about your project. Uh, Hello Android is an example here. The version, versioning, make sure the packaging is APK. You can name the uh, your project, Hello Project, and Artifact ID. Uh, this will be used in the name of the APK as I'll show you down below. In terms of our dependencies, we want the uh, Android API and uh, we go as before I selected the target is 2.1.2 so that's the one we're going to use and that is a provided dependency now in terms of the build uh, this is the Android plugin here you'll need to get an example of this uh, what to put here from the Maven Android website and uh, this will do all the things like generating that r.java which you need uh, again, this is uh, the platform level, it's platform 7 is equal to 2.1 and uh, you just need this part here because otherwise NetBeans doesn't know what version of Java that uh, it should be doing the code completion for. So if you don't specify this, uh, you'll run into some problems and it will tell you, for in example, that um, annotations aren't valid syntax. So make sure you do that. And uh, finally, you want to add this resources tag here. And this will make it easier for you to access the resources folder uh, which you use uh, for your layouts, your drawables, etc, etc. So uh, now we have our POM here and we're just about ready to go. But as you can see, it still thinks that uh, it's an ant, uh, an ant project. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to restart the IDE. Close that for a second. And we'll let it load. And as you can see, it has worked out that it is a Maven project. Under other sources, you can find your resources. We have layout and values your main.xml layout. Now uh, we have the same problem as before in that it can't find r.layout.main so uh, if we go clean and build though or just build the Maven plugin will generate that r.java. So the next thing that we're going to do is deploy our Hello World app to the Android emulator. Now the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to define a Maven goal and you'll only have to do this once, so just right click on the project, go to custom goals and type Android deploy and we'll remember this as deploy to device. Click OK and we will just drag in our emulator here. And as you can see it's uh, looking for all the devices that are currently attached to the system. Uh, so give it a second to deploy, it says successfully installed, yep. And then if we scroll down we have main activity here, click that and there we go, we have hello world main activity which is our uh, standard sample Android application. Now just to demonstrate uh, the workflow here, we would, if we wanted to, we'll just change that to hello world Hello World Modroid, and we'll build that. And then custom deploy to device. And then we go. So we can click main activity again, and it says Hello World Modroid. The final thing that I'm going to do is just demonstrate some of the Android in, uh, integration with NetBeans. So for example, if we go Tools, Output, ADB Log, you'll see the uh, familiar Logcat that, uh, that Android has. So for example, if we went to our main activity and we went Hello World. So we just put a sample, uh, you know, a, a logging example in there.
and then we built this and then we deployed to device and we went main activity and we went to our log window as you see there we have that uh, log entry so uh, thank you for watching uh, on how to use NetBeans as well as Maven to develop Android applications. If you're having any problems or need any help, feel free to comment below. Or of course, you can always post on the support forums for the particular software. As always, feel free to uh, rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.